Hi everyone, in this video I am going to install Windows XP uh, Service Pack 2 in VirtualBox uh, because this uh, Windows machine is needed in many pen testing labs or maybe ethical hacking labs and uh, I saw that some of the participants were having some difficulty in installing this Windows XP in this VirtualBox machine. So this is something I am going to show you now here so very first thing is that we have to download iso file and for that we have this website archive.org which i'll be sharing in the description section so just we need to go to that link and download windows xp from there and you can see here we have different options to download it you can see this is the iso image and there is also torrent link as well but uh, i have used this iso image link and i have already downloaded this uh, image because it may take some time for me so i downloaded it and this is there in my download drive here you can see this is disk image file and uh, then i also have virtual box here and the virtual box i'm going to show you the steps there so very first thing is that we have to click on machines and we have to click new so we are going to uh, create a new virtual machine so the name of the virtual machine let's say i'm going to give it the name so you can have any name here i'm going to give it windows xp and then this is the this is the location where all the relevant files will be saved uh, so i'm going to select my d drive and here in this case in the case of virtual box virtual machine i'm simply selecting windows xp so here also i'm going to make some changes windows sorry xp sorry and then we have in microsoft windows windows xp32 we leave it as it is and then we simply say finish here and once we have created this virtual machine i'm going to click on settings so we have to select this so at the moment i have other virtual machines in my virtual box but uh, i have to select this windows xp which i just created so select this click there and then go to settings and here maybe we click on a storage and then we have to click here on empty this and here we have to give the location so i'm going to give the location of the iso file which i have downloaded so that is i have to create uh, to click on this add button and then i have to go to my downloads folder in the downloads folder i have this disk image file which i have to select here and then click open and once this is and selected you can see here this last one has these are selected before it but at the moment we have selected this file and then choose it and then we click ok once we have selected that iso image we have to click here on a star you can see on the right hand side the green arrow we click there and now it should start installing windows xp on our uh, computer in, in our virtual box so you can see this screen appears it means everything is going fine so i'm going to maximize the screen maybe from here and maybe i just uh, remove that and uh, now it may take some time to show me the very first screen which we need to start installing windows xp in a, in, in, in a virtual box so now you can read the messages to set up uh, windows xp now press enter so i'm going to press enter on my keyboard and then you can see at the bottom it says that f8 stands for i agree escape i do not agree so we have to agree so in that case i'm going to um, i'm going to use f8 key on my keyboard and then i have ac ac accepted those terms and conditions and now we have to set the hard disk so i'm going to select that unpartitioned space whatever is there by default options there and then this is some formatting option i'm not going in theory but it's a format the partition using ntfs file system we are happy with that and now this is going to format uh, the space which we have selected to install windows xp okay so this is um, and this also depends on the speed of your computer which we will be using also depends on my computer so i'm using laptop maybe a bit slower in your case it might be faster but i'm just uh, trying to show you the steps which we need to install windows xp now it says computer will start reboot in 12 seconds so computer is going to reboot
and now you can see it's rebooting so this is uh, uh, the step which shows that uh, the virtual machine or, or the operating system we are installing in VirtualBox that is rebooting actually that's not rebooting of your computer or the maybe host machine so this is uh, some these are some messages about Windows XP so it says that an exciting new look and then these are some steps you can see installing devices here you can see this this so this will show you the progress and in between the final finalization of uh, installation of windows xp it may show you some screen where we have to select multiple options but we have to wait for that and then we have to click next and here you can give uh, uh, it says that type your full name and the name of your company or organization so uh, maybe I just simply say GD uh, networking mm, you can give it in any name here I'm going to use same name here so I'm going to copy and paste click there and here's asking for uh, actually the product code so product code you can find here on the same website here but I found that this the, the product code which is given in very first comment section that is perfectly working so that is the uh, code perfectly working so I'll be uh, I'll be sharing this code as well maybe there otherwise you can go to this side and you can maybe use the same code so I'll be using this code okay so now you can see that I have uh, taken the code from there I have entered this product key here and after that I'm going to click next and now it's going to ask me about the computer name so computer name we can have any select any name here maybe I'm going to select maybe same name again and the administrative password you can have any administrative password so I'm going to select maybe the administrative password here only thing is that we need to remember sorry and then so I have confirmed the password click next the was truncated to this to make it valid so okay so this is truncated name maybe it could not um, support all these characters okay we say yes and then we say this is a date and time you can select as you like so I'm going to keep it as it is and then installing network and typical setting a custom I'm not going to change it make any changes so I'm going to say typical setting click next this is, is a, they know this computer is not on a network so yes this computer is not on a network click next okay so it's again restarting and we don't have to click on press any key to boot from CD so like feel like the CD is still there so we don't have to press any key and okay we'll automatically adjust your resolution we say okay uh, yes okay so now Windows XP is uh, like preparing for boot to boot for the first time here see this uh, Windows XP is ready for us um, and the 
last step we want to do is just click on devices and then we have to click optical drive here and then we have we don't have to remove this yet the last step which we have to do is just we go to devices and then we have to click here insert guest uh, edition CD image we click there and then we go start and click on my computer and here you can see virtual box guest edition we double click there and next and simply next install and so the purpose of this is that it will be installing the required drivers and after that we will be able to see this windows xp on our full screen of our computer and now this is asking whether we want to reboot it and say yes reboot now finish windows xp is rebooting and uh, I'll show you that how to convert this to full screen because we have already installed the guest edition here. Uh, it just shows in a smaller screen, and now we simply go to view, and then we click full screen, and now you can see this is showing us the full screen of Windows XP, which we require in some of the lab activities of uh, them testing the ethical hacking. So thank you, thank you very much. I hope this will be helpful for some of you. Thank you.